can see the derivative stacking in the middle coming. You can see some of it moving on the edges, it's kind of settling in. I'm at the bridge, right at the crossing, about 500 feet from the Red River. Take a few minutes of it. They've already taken about six feet off the midsection and about eight feet plus off the section closest to the irrigation ditch or canal. Um, probably a little better than 85 to 90 feet has been taken off. Sir, this is Alan. Yeah. Um, they breached the dam already.
they let them, they ended up, they knew this, the guy that was there with us at the table, he knew that they got an extended permit. Evidently, they knew it this morning because when Scott showed up, when Woody asked how, when they were going to start or how long they were going to work to, we told them they're going to work till five because they got an extension permit today. So DEQ knew it. Today, today only? No, I'm, I'm not sure. But in this right now, they've got a third of the dam, six foot off. They've got about another, a little over a third, about eight foot to nine foot off of it already on the, from the top down. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but they're down here right now, they're still working and they're crushing up the rock they took off and they took off, again, about a third of the dam. Wow. Well, actually, almost half right now. On the uh, arch, they've actually come in with a couple of crushers and pinchers and actually, you know, popped it, broke it, popped it, broke it, about a foot, a foot and a half at a time. But they're, um, it'll be the uh, west side, where the channel is, uh, where, the, where the whole rim is. But um, on one side, there's maybe 12 or 14 foot left. On the other side, there's maybe about 10 foot left, you know, in height. And then you run about 90, 80 to 90 feet. They've taken out a, a third of it. Yeah, this guy, this guy that was there at the table, he knew doggone good and well because that's probably one of the reasons he was here. Had nothing to do with, well, I just thought I'd come and meet with him. He had no intention and he didn't care. He lied and he off the whole deal. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm thrashed by it, but anyway, that's what it is. Wow. Yeah, well, I was just buying the time, you know, to keep a couple of people aside while they were doing that, huh? That's, it, it's exactly what he did. We had the meeting down there, not up here on Woody's deck. Because he, and, because he, they suggested we go to Woody's deck, and he said, well, let's be here with quieter. We won't be interrupting the workers. Right. He said that, too. That's his words. The whole thing, he had no intention. He came to be here in case they caught flack and they got shut down, and he would try to override to keep it going. That's what his true deal was. And when I'm sitting here watching this, the dervidity is off the map right now. Even going past their, their bales and their, their silk screen. It's going past there. I'm videotaping it right now on my uh, my actual tablet. Okay. Okay. I forgot. Well, I got right now I got seven seven minutes. Seven minutes, 17 seconds of videoing it right now. You got a couple of people, they're walking around and they're, they look back up at me, took a couple pictures. They're, uh, when I was stretching out, I accidentally knocked something over that you know about. It. So what? Anyway, um, it is it is, it is what it is. But um, I'm, I, I have no faith in the state. Nothing at all now. And not every one of them, every one of them in my book's alive. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I don't. Uh, anyway, don't know what God's plan is now. That's what I've missed. Yeah, he needs to because I don't want him coming up unless, you know, I mean, we need to take the samples and right where we are right now, they're actually, they pulled a couple of panels out and they're actually letting water run down the ladder. Amazing, it's still running down the ladder now. Now, they had it shut off before, but now they're trying to run the turbidity out by flooding more water down the fish ladders to flood the water out. So the whole idea that guy said was a flat lie. That picture he showed was, oh, I got this. And yeah, it was a bunch of BS from the top. But anyway. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, well, you break my bed for a minute. Okay, talk to you. Okay, yeah, get it. Okay, take care. Okay, I'll, I'll give you, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. God bless. God bless.
Yeah, Joseph Allen, um, they already breached the dam already. It's 4.15 and I've got about seven, eight, nine minutes of, uh, of where they've taken out six foot across the center section, about eight or nine off the side section closest, which would be the um, west side of the, the creek. Um, this is Alan. We'll talk to you later. I don't know what else we're going to be able to do now. I think basically we're... Th these people knew. This guy sitting at that table across from us knew exactly because he was here to make sure if they got problems that nobody else could stop it. Second guy in command, you got to think that. I mean, I do. He's a liar. He's a stinking liar. But anyway, it's Alan. We'll talk to you later. Be in touch. Bye. Hey, Ron, I got some bad news. That whole time that we were sitting there at the table, the guy knew exactly what they were doing. He was trying to keep us away because they just took about eight feet off a third of the dam and about nine feet off the other closest to the deck of Woody's. They literally took it off the rim. About nine foot in front of the ditch where the channel was. About, oh, probably 60 foot. And then they've got another six feet off the top all the way over to where that tree was pointing down. The humidity is real heavy right now, but they've tried, they actually pulled a panel out of the fish ladder to let water move into it. I'm taking pictures of it right now. I got my tablet out and taking the film, the video, but they've actually taken the panel out of the fish ladder so it can move water down in and try and clear the humidity out so when they test it, it'll be different. Anyway. Fought a fight. I'm not sure how God's going to take this one. I really tried. I put my heart into this. Big time. These people lied straight straight to us. Just flat lied. And evidently, Herman, I don't know if he just found out, but Woody, the guy that has the deck here, he talked to Scott when he first came. He says, how late you guys working today? And, he, and Scott told me, he said, we got the clearance to work at five tonight. And they're here right now with the pressure. So, it is what it is. We've got a pack of liars in the state, and I guess now is the point. We need a clean house up there and get people in that are going to respect what we, you know, they're going to respect that they're tearing our, our world apart. And I, you know, I'm sorry. It is what it is, but I'm, I'm pretty angry right now. Because I, I did, you know, I... I wasn't the only one, but I put a lot into this, in trying to get traction people down, do this stuff, make them jump through the hoops to get the stuff, and they lied all the way through. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, but don't, be, don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is, and they did it. They got, they got, they got at least six foot minimum over half of the dam out. Out of it. Anyway, I'll let you go. Sorry about that, Rob. Really sorry. We'll talk to you a little later. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to be mean. I hope Steve is satisfied when he looks at this mess that he's got. Unbelievable. Well, we'll talk to you later, sir. God bless and have a good evening. Bye bye.
just to not put a little Actually, my name is Alan Air, and there was a gal out at the Weimar Dam yesterday. No, I forget what her name is now. Sure, yeah, um, I think it's Melissa Cano. Yes, that's it. Is she, by chance, available for a half a minute? She is not working today. Okay. Um, you can leave her a message, you can send her an email, um, and she'll be back on Friday. Um, probably just send her a, a message or send me to her voicemail. Oh, sure, no problem. Hold on just a moment. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it so much.
I've reached Justice Bork, either on the phone or away from my desk. Immediate, immediate. half of the top of the dam off. The otters are running for their lives right now. Um, they took off about uh, the midsection. I'm sorry, I lost you. I probably moved it here. Um, they've taken off the midsection about six and a half feet off the top of the center, and then on the far side of it, coming over to the, to the west side of the deal in front of the uh, Woody's uh, deck and stuff, they've taken off about nine feet down, and about, the total was about 90 feet they've taken off when it's ready. And they've already got it broken up. They failed to tell you, and even DEQ has known about it. That when we sat at the table, that's the reason he didn't want to come up here. They had a they had permission and a special request to work until five today. They're over here right now, still crushing the rock that they took off the wall. Um, they're down almost flush to the deck of the material that's in it. They've been digging back away from it, so you can see that because they tried to make a channel for the water to go. And the humidity's off the map, but I've, I've got a. My tablet is setting up right now, filming about probably 20, 30 minutes left. He called, uh, I, I called Herman, and he said, yeah, I just found out that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm beginning to be a little doubtful. Herman had, had put a flash out there and said somebody told him that I had been arrested for um, what they call um, impersonation. Yeah. Well, that's a bunch of garbage. But anyway... For that reason, whatever, I don't think, I think he knew and he didn't tell us. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't know until I look him in the eye. No, I don't, I don't think he did. Well, I know the guy from DEQ knew it. That's why he didn't want us up here and he wanted to sit there where it was quiet, not around the crew, so he, they would be interrupted. So it's 
but uh, so a special permit I haven't been able to find out. They got an extension to work till five tonight, and I don't know how many more nights. And that was through Scott. They got a, a uh, so they're blind, so they got a special thing for the industrial production. Probably, yeah, like they work in the woods and stuff for special skills. Um, they've got a, they've got a lot of three quarter minus. It looks like on there. They brought, they had to bring some of it in, put it on top of the sediments that were there. But they actually dug along the wall. Um, they went down on the wall in the middle about six feet, probably well over 60 feet, and then on the other side close coming back to me. They've taken about nine feet, maybe ten feet off in places, and the dirt's kind of powdering over the top. And again, they're breaking up the pieces right now, the big pieces that they took off the top. And with the machine, they've got a crusher down here right now, working down by the water. Not the other but well, they got, they're behind their bags. Uh, but they had, this was planned. They had, they, he knew that when he came here. And I, the reason I'm saying that is having the only guy and the other guy on vacation, he came here in case there was trouble. And he could be in the Medford office to come put the fire out if he had to. But I wonder if he didn't come early and give him a permit because it had to come from DEQ, not before. The only thing we could do is if we had an attorney draw up a report and emergency injunction to stop it because then challenge the environmental impacts came up, that's not done. Yeah, I know, I know, I understand. Um, I look here and I, what I've seen right now, you've got a family of otters scrambling. They were down by the uh, portal where the hole yeah. was under the bottom. Um, three, three, four of them right now, and they're working their way up along the concrete, along the ledge, going back on the far side of the, of the lake, um, walking over, they're going away from the fish ladders, but it's a family of otter, otters, period. They're, they're probably the bigger ones, they a good foot or too long. But they drove them out. They came up out of the water when I was sitting here filming. Gordon. Gordon knows. Uh, I tried to get a hold. I say I got a hold of Kevin. Let him know too. I tried to get a hold of the gal at the, at the 12 channel 12, and she's off for two days. She's going to come back on until Friday. Yeah. But okay. Did you uh, was you able to get over there to um, the health department at all? Or? Yeah, I, I just left. I just left there. I talked with Diane over for half hour, 40 minutes. She'll go over uh, they're going to blindside her. They're going to tell her she didn't know what she thought about. That, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, still that that part is here, but they've dug. You need to get down on the property and you need to start taking samples. You know, I I don't. I've got to make sure that Steve won't stop me. And I haven't heard that from. I got to find out from Rod. Who's the guy next door? Um, Woody. Oh, Michael. Yeah, I have to, I'm going to check with Michael when he gets home. That's that's my. Check with Michael because then you can go down and stand yeah. on the corner there. That's his property. Yeah. And you can start taking samples. You can't say anything to him. Right. I'm, he won't be home for another hour. So, but I. Uh, I'm, do you have his phone number to call? Uh, yeah, I do. I can't, I've got to check my phone off. To, well, I was going to do it. That's what I've tried to do now. He's at work. He's in one All right, most well, let me know what's going on. Okay. Sorry, Joseph. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Good job. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.